Hey everybody, um, just putting up some more warm ups that you guys can use at home. Uh, if you don't have the opportunity to do the, the live workouts with us as we're doing them, or if you're doing them in the, in the morning before they get put up, uh, or just for, for your other workouts that you're doing outside of the uh, programming we're putting up. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the Spider-Man lunge series. This is um, a, a set of warm up movements that I use in classes a lot. Uh, so a lot of you probably done some of these. Uh, I'll walk you through the, the full battery. I very rarely use all of them in, in a single session, um, but just some of the different things that you can do out of the Spider-Man lunge position. All right? So uh, I'll show you uh, all the movements on one side, and then um, obviously you'd wanna do them on both sides. Um, but I'll show you all the movements uh, through, uh, and then like I said, you can kind of pick and choose which ones you wanna use for a particular workout, which uh, depending on what you're trying to get uh, stretched out and warmed up, all right? So this is the, the Spider-Man lunge and it's different variant, movement variants, okay? So first let's talk about the basic setup of the Spider-Man lunge position, all right? We want nice vertical shin on the front leg, um, toes straight up forward, knee stacked right over the ankle, hands, right below the shoulders, even with the front foot. This front inside arm should be right here next to the front foot, right by the instep. I should have my shoulder glued to my knee. Uh, back leg, we should have the, hand, the foot straight back from the outside hand, so I got a nice uh, squared up rectangular base to sit here uh, to start from. And now the first thing I wanna do is just kinda sink down into this position. I wanna keep the back leg straight, but just trying to open up the hips a little bit. I can work around into this position a little bit and just try to work the torso a little bit lower, but without rounding the back or lowering the shoulders too much, all right? Once I've got that set, the first movement I usually like to hit is the front leg side shoulder rotation, all right? So with all these articulations, the big thing I'm trying to do is separate the shoulders from the hips. So I want the shoulders to turn, but I want to keep the hips level, okay? So I'm going to reach down with the elbow and then reach up, turn that open. I can do this as few or as many times as I want. I can make it as a quick dynamic movement. I can also slow it down, hold that position for a while if I want to, all right? Try to work the, the elbow down towards the floor. Once I'm done with that, the next one I like to go to is the outside arm. So again, you wanna make sure your position is nice and squared up. Right here, open up. Again, I'm gonna keep the shoulder glued to the knee here. You don't wanna let the knee drift out. You wanna keep it stacked right over the ankle. Keep the big toe rooted into the ground. I wanna keep that back heel up and out. Keep the back knee as straight as I can. And again, the hips stay level. And again, on this, I can do it quick. I can reach up and hold that position, make it more of a stretch, all right? Once I'm done that, the next one I'll move on to is the hamstring stretch here, all right? So I'm gonna push the heel into the ground, straighten out the knee, pull the toe up. And as I do this, I'm gonna try to keep as much contact between my torso and the thigh as I can. It's gonna keep the, the angle of the hip closed and focus the stretch in the hamstring. And I'll generally do 10 of each of these movements. Uh, I'm not gonna necessarily hit 10 on all of them today. Um, and the next movement, I'm gonna come back to the inside of the handstand. This one I don't use in the classes quite as much. It's a little bit more advanced. You need to have a very nice, solid, stable position here. And then from here, we're just gonna streamline out and then come up and back down. Now, once we're up, if we want to, we can add some rotation to this. I can come out, we rotate this way, rotate the other way. Back out to my streamline and back out. All right, so Spider-Man lunge series. Uh, so again, you would go through that, use as many or, or as few or as many of those movements as you want in your warm up. Um, and of course, you know, equal reps on each side, maybe five to 10 of each, okay? Have fun with those.